morning everyone here from Taipei in Taiwan once again we're just about to go on a little trip to a place called Jiufen I think that's how you pronounce it it's supposed to be like one of the most beautiful little towns here in Taiwan and we're going there by bus we're gonna be spending the night so we got this thing called the easy card and you saw that this is one of the easiest ways to get around yeah I think everybody buys it when they come here uh, and it gives you an entrance to many places you need to top up and then you use it on buses or on train MRTs which is their metro and you can also rent those little bikes that you see yeah. on the road uh -huh. you pay a hundred dollars to buy it but uh, I think you have discounts on met on the metro and other places so I think it's worth it yeah so we just put like 300 credit on ours and yeah we're gonna use that on the bus obviously this is a station here. Stations are pretty good. You can see the bus name there. It tells you how long it's gonna take. 60 minutes hours. So we've arrived in Jufin now, an extremely beautiful ride, especially the last part when we started going up into the mountains where we are right now. And from the bus stop here, I already get some really beautiful views. Look at the ocean back there. And got some cool temples too. One here, you can see some down there. We saw some scattered around in the mountains too, didn't we? Yeah, there was one that was super big, but um, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. It was on this mountainside. Can I, I think you can see the top of it in the distance there. So I think this is the entrance here, the old street. So right now we're still kind of early. So I think that's why a lot of the places look closed or like they're just about to open a lot of the stores. It is a Friday right now, so later on it's gonna get packed apparently. Apparently on weekends this place is like insanely busy. much just these little alleyways everywhere I did read online that it's like a bit of a maze I already smell some good food here it smells really good not sure what that is we'll get some good food later on which direction I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think at night they light up all the Chinese lanterns yeah. That's why we decided to stay overnight here because I think most people just come for a day tour and they go back to Taipei but we wanted to see this place at night too. Yeah, it looks extra special at night. So that's a really nice viewpoint. That looks like a less touristy part, maybe a more residential part of the, the village. You can still walk down there I think. And you can see all these cool restaurants and cafes. And we just found out that this is the place that we're going to be staying tonight. It's too early to to check in though. Got this guy sunbathing here. Yeah, Carol chose this spot, so look at where the people are eating here. With that view down there. That will be us later on or tomorrow morning. So 
this was a very small town. There weren't many people living here, but then in the 1890s, they discovered gold here and it became a gold mining town and then it increased rapidly. And during that time, it was actually under Japanese occupation. Literally are views everywhere. So you can probably already see why this is considered one of the most beautiful towns in Taiwan. I mean, you got the views, the beautiful green mountains everywhere surrounded. Nice little houses and alleyways. Loads of cute little stores. Oh, is that the cherry blossom? Oh yeah. Just to make it even better. <laughs> so this area that we're walking through now is the part that I said looked more residential. So you don't really get many stores or anything on this side, only over there. So I think this is just where the majority of people live. So we found yet another viewpoint. There's absolutely nobody walking around here. I don't think many people arrive and then pretty much leave. I think they just stick around that area. But here it's cool because you can see the whole thing. And I think you can hike up that mountain. So we might do that later on after we check in. Get some good views from there too. Definitely more people arriving now, so yeah, it might be a bit busier when we get back. saw the signs mentioning about tunnels we thought it might have been like the mining tunnels but it's not it's for a car to pass through still pretty cool though watch dripping yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's nice and nice and cool in this tunnel there's quite a few tunnels around here but yeah it's definitely not anything for mining Oh wow, a nice area on the other side. Looks like some sort of restaurant or cafe. I think it's closed right now. That'd be a nice spot to eat at. Yeah, super calm here. Yeah, it really is calm. I don't think there's much traffic or anything coming through here. So even in the winter, when the sun is out, it's really nice, the weather in Taiwan, from what we've seen. So today is around like 20 degrees, so that's like the perfect temperature and that's like the ideal temperature for me. But I think we even had some days where it was 27. Yeah, one day when it's uh, cloudy, it just gets uh, too cold. Like yeah, it a drops. Very, a very drop, a very big drop. <laughs> one day was 27 and the other day was... 15, 15 or something. 15, yeah. <laughs> yeah, big difference depending on if there's sun or not. So we're back in the main center. So just an hour later, you can already see the, the difference now. Way more people. Now we got queues. So some of you may have seen the Japanese anime film called Spirited Away, which I think is like the most famous one or yeah. one of. Yeah, maybe one of the most famous animes. And I've watched it when I was a kid. I think uh, when it released in Brazil, I watched it. And I think here is famous because it looks similar to it. Some people say it was uh, the place that inspired, but we read that that's not true. Yeah, the director said it's not true. Yeah, it's not true, but it does uh, remind of the, the film. Yeah, so I think especially this one is one that looks like one out of that film. I haven't seen it yet, but I did see a picture from the film. It had like the Chinese lanterns and stuff. So I think that's a famous tea house. We might go in there. I don't know, it's a busy one. There's lots of empty ones, aren't there? Mm-hmm, yeah, this is the most famous because of the, the movie. So next to the famous tea house, they also have this nice statue here showing the gold mining. And this guy turned up now with a guitar. Sounds nice. I'll give him a tip.
So we ended up coming to a different tea place. That one there seemed to only have like tea tasting, tasting multiple teas, and we didn't really want that. They also didn't have any good uh, places anymore because obviously it was all taken because it's so popular. But the one that we've come to here is completely empty, pretty much here on the rooftop. Nobody here, only us. So for 370, we got the matcha latte, and yours is just a coffee latte. Yeah, coffee latte. It's good. Mm -hmm. Very good coffee. Yeah, so that's probably like tourist price, right? Because we're in such a touristy zone. The other place that we went was quite expensive too, compared to the price of other things in, in Taiwan. I've actually already had a taste of mine, but it tastes like warm milk. I'm not really tasting uh, much matcha in there for some reason. Yeah, it's just like warm milk, so not, not so good mine. Well, at least Carol's is good. We ended up coming to another place now, this time to eat though, since that other place only had tea and coffee. Obviously with a view. Everywhere has a view here, so can't avoid that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get some fried noodles. Beef fried noodles, 120. You're gonna get noodles too? Yeah, we'll ask if they can do the same, but without meat. Maybe with tofu? Yeah, I'll ask. Yeah, I think they'll be able to do it. So this is how the noodles are. Really a big portion, so that's nice. Looks very juicy too, all this sauce. So they wouldn't do tofu for Carol, but yeah, you got your veggie noodles anyway. Yeah, it's a different kind of sauce. I don't know what sauce that is, but I haven't tasted that kind of sauce before. You haven't, right? Delicious though. doing some souvenir shopping for once, which we never do. And these are keychains, I think, aren't they? They have three sizes, small, medium, and big one. And there's a light inside. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a balloon, right? A lantern. A lantern yeah. Like those ones that they release yeah. in the air. Like this one. Yeah. How much is that then? Uh, 120 for this one. Okay. okay. Thank you. So we mentioned about the film, Spirited Away. So these are some of the characters from that film. So even though it eventually had nothing to do with the film, from what the director said, they obviously still make the most of it. I think that actually added to the fame of this place. Yeah, I think even like the t tourist, tourism agencies, they sell this place like they play some from the Spirited Away movie. From the movie? Yeah. yeah. So we've checked into our accommodation now. This place is called Shanghai Guan Guest House. It's actually a different building to the one that I showed before where people were eating with their views. It's the same owner. That's where we're gonna have like uh, breakfast though, which is included in this price. So this is $90 a day. It is a bit of a fancy one for the area. I think you could find places for around $60, a bit more simple. So this is the main bedroom area here. Already from the bedroom, we get some great views. Yeah, really nice views here. So this is more that residential part, probably a bit quieter. So that's nice. Then this looks like more of a Japanese style, right? Where they sit pretty much on the floor. A nice big TV, mini fridge here. Only just noticed that. And then this is the bathroom, looks nice and modern. And the main reason Carol wanted to stay here was for the bathtub. Oh, it's a big bathtub, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's even a TV over there. Yeah, you can watch TV in the bathtub. So we'll probably do that tonight. It's like a, a two, three person one as well. Little seat. Maybe that's even Japanese style. I'm not sure. But it's nice when you're in colder places. It's gonna get cold here at night. You can have a, a nice warm bath. So we're 
to do that trail that I mentioned before up the mountain back there that's called Mount Kilung how long do people say that it takes? some people said one hour some people said 15 minutes really? I think it just depends on how fit you are hopefully we can do it fast let's see yeah we'll see how long it takes I mean it looks extra steep so the trail is like a cobbled pathway it's not the best for a trail because it's all like different angles and sprain your ankle oh, I hope not yeah it's kind of weird to walk on I don't know if it's going to be like this all the way I don't know steps already I think we're going to be doing a lot of steps ah, those look nice lots of pink flowers everywhere around here in Taiwan right now This trail is no joke probably one of the hardest ones we've ever done not even exaggerating just because it's constantly steps and yeah we've easily done over a thousand I'll check online how many it is problem is now we're in the clouds so look if you look down there can't see anything anymore <laughs> we obviously want the views so maybe it'll open up we'll have to see So we have made it, I think it took us around 28 minutes overall. Yeah, the hard minutes, very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how someone did that in, in 15 minutes. Carol actually tracked it on her app, it's around 3,000 steps and that's pretty much just steps constantly going up, so yeah, that's a lot of steps. On this side at least it's kind of clear over the ocean. I don't know if that's because the mountain here is soaking up the, the clouds. We are in the clouds here. I guess we'll just wait to see if the, the clouds pass. Yeah, because I really wanted to see the all the mountain range and everything, but I cannot only see this part here. Yeah, right just now. this right now. <laughs> Still looks kind of cool though, I guess. What happens when you do 3,000 steps in 28 minutes? <laughs> no, I'm just waiting for the sun. Just waiting for the sun? Mm -hmm. Not tired, no. <laughs> so we're heading back down now. I don't think it's gonna open up while we're here. Probably when we get down, it will open up now. <laughs> but we've been here like an hour, so not gonna wait here forever. It's pretty cold up here too. Can you see mountain tops there at the back? So the clouds are lower. When we were in the center though, I did fly the drone and I got some shots up here, so I'll show you those right now. going for the night walk that we really wanted to do so as we mentioned before all the lanterns are lit up now I don't know if it's like that on every single one this part is though actually seems a bit quieter right now compared to midday I think a lot of the day tours just leave before night time not so quiet not so quiet here oh yeah it was just that area then Thank you. 
So this is that street with the famous tea house that we saw earlier. So I think this is like the most famous street pretty much too. Pretty packed. It's the nicest looking one though at night. <laughs> Man, look how chaotic it is now at that main viewpoint of the tea house. Yeah, I was definitely wrong. It's way, way busier. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really love it. Yeah, I'm loving it too. Just a beautiful town. So we stopped at this drink place here. I'm gonna have another attempt at a matcha latte. This is more of a bubble tea place. I think Taiwan actually created the bubble tea. So you've got matcha bubble tea there, pearl matcha latte. I'm gonna get it warm though. I think a lot of people get it cold. And that's 85. And everything's actually closing early here it seems. It's 7.30 but many stores are already closed. Yeah, the shutters are down and it got empty pretty quick too. So now we're gonna try the famous dessert called taro. You can get it either ice or hot. One cup, 50 Taiwanese dollars. Oh, that's it already. Thank you. Thank you. So I think they have uh, taro bowls and sweet potatoes inside. There's some like little beans as well by the looks of it. Yeah, those I'm not little sure green if it's things. Mung beans. Mung beans. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. So taro is like a root that they have here, some sort of root. And from what we heard, this is the famous place for the taro dessert. In Japan. In yeah. Japan is the most famous place, and uh, the dessert is a Taiwanese uh, famous thing too to try. So, so which one is the taro? I don't know. <laughs> is it the white one? Uh, maybe. Oh, the orange? No, the orange one maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Even the black one. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It's very chewy. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, probably each one's different, right? Or is it all taro in different colors? I don't get it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I try too, and they have the same, the same taste. I'm gonna try it out too because it looks interesting. Got an orange one. Yeah, it's not sweet potato. <laughs> the black one. Yeah, I'm like Carol. The meat tastes like the the same taste. But it's a good dessert because it's not too sweet. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of healthy if it's a uh, root. Mm, yeah, because it's a lot. So if it was too sweet, I I don't think I would be able to eat it. Mm -hmm. Also, the tea is awesome this time, so really good. First time I've had it with uh, the pearls, so that's nice. Okay, I was gonna finish that up now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of squishy though, like mm -hmm. jelly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting texture. Like when you think of root, you think, I, I just thought of like sweet potato, like you said, where it's mushy. Yeah. And hard, but it's not. I don't know how they make this. So chewy. Mm -hmm. So we're back in the accommodation once again. As I mentioned before, we're gonna make the most of the bath day. It's steaming right now, so that's gonna be nice. Got some anime on as well. <laughs> For the first time watching anime in a, in a bathtub. It's actually not that cold though in the street. Seems to be colder in here than outside. I don't know if this kind of like contains the cold this building and that's gonna be it here from Geofen. We did think about going to the gold mines and uh, I think there's also a waterfall nearby but we're gonna to go to a different area called Shifen. We'll leave those for another time if we ever come back to here and it's definitely a place where we could have spent longer since there are these other things to do. Maybe two nights would have been ideal. I definitely wouldn't do the day trip like everyone else does. I think it's a place that's definitely worth spending the night or multiple days. So quite a few more videos coming here from Taiwan. If you like this one, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.